Hey, so welcome back everybody to the Erica Time Show. Today we want to show you a couple of uh, couple cool little things with your cabinets, especially your base cabinets. So we got a couple cool tips for you. Check this out. Okay, so look right out the gate, you know, as you can see, we're badly off level. Um, you know, everybody's situation is going to be different. Very few times do you set your base cabinets down and they are a picture perfect level. So a lot of ways you can go about it. Ours actually tilts forward. We don't want that. We want them back to where they're going to be level. Sitting up against the wall, we're going to be shim up underneath. Uh, just to make life easy, one of the coolest little things in our arsenal is actually very inexpensive. We love these guys. You get them off Amazon. Uh, six pack of these. Uh, maybe it's a two pack. I can't remember, but very inexpensive. They're eight, ten bucks a pop. You get a little deal on them, you know, two to six of them a pack. Uh, if you want to save even more money, you probably already have one of these. Just your basic clamps. So look, take this. A lot of these DeWalt clamps here. Got that little button on the side. Take it, flip it right over. Just like that. And it's the same principle. So we use these a lot. Spread stuff apart. You know, you can uh, set this down here in the same sense. You need a smaller clamp, which we have some over here, but stick it right up under there. Uh, just an alternative, but it does make life simple. When I'm sitting here, it's just gonna grab a hold of that guy and pick it right up. Right there. Just like that. And you can see we're tight, flush with the wall now. Our shim work's gonna be out here. Just makes it so you can just slide these right under. We'll take a little jam saw, turn the blade sideways, cut these right off, go to set the toe kick later in the floor and all that, be right on the dime. Okay, so pick it up where we left off. We're, we're actually on the home stretch. There wasn't a whole bunch of cabinets in, in this kitchen. Uh, a lot of things, you know, everybody's project is gonna be different. Uh, we have a lot of challenges in this house. Uh, it's, this house is probably 80 to 100 years old which creates a lot of challenges uh, just outside of the norm. Uh, for instance, our floor. This is very, very dated old um, hardwood. And the problem with this hardwood is when, I know it's gonna be hard, uh, I know you're not gonna see it in the camera, just trust me. Every one of these planks, even though they're predominantly flat, they've got a smidge of a cup to them which makes shimming, which makes cabinets setting down, which makes a lot of things a challenge. Uh, so we've had to cross all those bridges. We did not have this window framed out, trimmed out yet at all. Uh, a lot of these older houses have these tails that shoot way past, you know, how they used to do things. Look how far this comes down into our backsplash here. So the idea for us in this situation, we wanted to put our cabinets up here first then we can actually see the distance of what we're working with here and then decide how our trim is gonna go on, the different size profiles, and we'll make that work after. If we would have had this on already, it would have just created other problems trying to hang the cabinets in place. So we reversed that process. Uh, a lot of people, uh, especially if you're by yourself, you're probably gonna set a what they call a ledger board up here to put your uppers up. Uh, we actually did those first. We used a laser line since there's two of us. We use a laser line and we have a bunch of these. These are the exact same principle of what I was telling you about down here with the uh, floor jacks. So these guys work the same way. We have about eight of these. Again, you can get these off Amazon. Uh, they're just really handy. So we use these to hold our uppers up, but what we've done to put in, our dishwasher is gonna go right here. 
uh, the original design to keep it out of the spec of custom cabinets. These are just bought right out of Lowe's, so there's nothing special about these. Um, this cabinet layout and everything, the distance we had from our corner over here, uh, with the corner unit being 24, the next upper being 24, we were at 48. These two, this is 36 off the blind wall with a 12 next to it, which is exactly 48. But if we would have set this cabinet here next to this one in line, we were actually off center of the window. So that's why we used a filler piece right here to join. We were exactly an inch off. And since cabinets run, you know, in oddball sizes and you can't get exactly what you need, that's the whole purpose of the filler. So with this inch ripped over here and set in place, kicked us over an inch, now we're exactly straight under the window. Our dishwasher, we added the same filler piece from this side. We duplicated that over here to get the exact same spacing outside of that window. Puts our cabinet straight in it. This is all shim, level to perfection. Now our dishwasher will go here and the 24 inch cabinet, that's what the laser line is for. It's sitting right here on the edge and it is sitting right here, going all the way around. You can see it up under there. That's exactly where our cabinet is gonna go. Right there going this way and straight up so that we're gonna have the exact same distance as we do over here when we go to trim out this window. So um, great little tips and like I said, great little tools. If you got, if there's a couple of you, uh, just makes life easier. We don't have to, a lot of times when we get a one by four, a two by four, you know, if it's slightly warped, Anything like that, uh, it just it just causes us a lot of headache that we don't need. So we go about it this way. To us, it just makes life simpler, but a ledger board's fine as well. Uh, you don't have to use a piece of wood as a ledger board. You can use something that is that is not going to warp. Might help you a little better. But uh, as usual, we appreciate everybody for tuning in. And uh, you know, this was just our cabin install. We hope this helps you at home. We're going to go ahead and get this room painted up, and as we go through the process, we'll tune you all back in and show you what's going on. Till the next one.